So how is that for putting a capstone on the UFC's first trip to Macau? Candidly, Kung Lee was not expected by many people to do what he did here tonight. He was a huge underdog. Not only does he get the cold, clean knockout, he gets it in the first round against a former UFC champion. Well, you know, he was the underdog heading into this fight, but if there was a way he was going to get it done, it was going to be early. You know, Kung Lee definitely had the speed advantage, and uh, Rich, you know, kind of started the fight with his hands a little low, and it was almost a bad thing because he was, he was in control, especially with his striking. And as soon as he retracted that leg, his arms were low, and Kung Lee was right there to capitalize. Landed that right hook, flush, right on the button, and that was it. Now, I know you've tasted both victory and defeat in your mixed martial arts career. For Rich Franklin, a guy who puts so much yep. into the preparation and takes this so seriously, what's his mindset right now? Well, right, you know... <laughs> You have the, the biggest highs and the biggest lows in this sport. When you win, you feel amazing. When you when you lose, uh, you really feel terrible. And now getting caught with that shot and that knockout, you know, it, it's going to be tough to come back from something like that. But there's someone who's going to come back. Rich is very mentally strong, and I'm sure we'll see him uh, in the near future. Well, this show in large part was built around the presence of one Kung Lee. He comes through in a major way here tonight as he splatters Rich Franklin on the canvas and gets his second straight UFC victory.